The Great Panic of the U.S. Population What the Yellowstone Eruption Means for North America The Yellowstone National Park area has experienced three major eruptions in Earth's history. The largest caldera-forming eruption occurred 2.1 million years ago and resulted in 2,450 cubic kilometers of material being ejected, giving it supervolcano status. If a Yellowstone eruption were to occur again today, what would happen? Yellowstone is not just an American treasure. It is as the oldest national park in the world. Established in 1872, Yellowstone spans 3,472 square miles, 8,987 square kilometers, across three states. For those keeping score back home, this makes Yellowstone's national park status older than the National Park Service itself, considering the organization was founded in 1916. The park welcomes nearly 3 million visitors annually. Most flock to the area to enjoy the stunning natural scenery that includes the Old Faithful Geyser and numerous hiking trails, mountain peaks and hot springs. Not to mention the variety of wildlife that lives in the park, including grizzly bears, moose, moose, beavers, and bighorn sheep. But beneath the surface of this outdoorsman's paradise lies another natural wonder, one that could potentially wipe the park off the map. The Yellowstone supervolcano is a source of massive granite magma that lies miles beneath the park's surface. While an eruption is unlikely in the near future, a large explosion would be bad news for nature lovers and many people near the park. If the Yellowstone supervolcano erupted, it would happen like this, heat rising from deep within the planet's core would begin to melt molten rock just below the ground's surface. That would create a mixture of magma, rock, steam, carbon dioxide and other gases. As the mixture builds up and increases over thousands of years, the pressure will eventually push the soil into a dome shape and create cracks along the edges. When that pressure is released through the cracks, the dissolved gas explodes, emptying the magma rapidly throughout the park. Not only would the eruption create dangerous lava flows, it is also estimated to kill as many as 90,000 people in an instant and spread a 10-foot, 3-meter, layer of liquid ash as far as 1,000 miles, 1,609 kilometers, from the National Park. Rescue teams may have difficulty getting in there. The ash would block all entry points from the ground, and the spread of ash and gases into the atmosphere would halt most air travel, as happened when a much smaller volcano erupted in Iceland in 2010. Equally frightening is the nuclear winter, that according to some experts it could blanket the US and other parts of the world if Yellowstone explodes. Sulfur gas released from volcanoes will emerge into the atmosphere and mix with water vapor on the planet. The gas haze that could blanket the country wouldn't just dim the sunlight, it would also cool temperatures. Falling temperatures will have a devastating impact on our food supply, destroying crops and disrupting the food chain by leaving little food for those at the bottom. In fact, that's what many climate scientists believe happened in 535 AD after a supervolcano erupted in Java. The good news is that an eruption of this magnitude is unlikely to occur in our lifetime. Yellowstone last erupted about 640,000 years ago, and the United States Geological Survey says the chance of another peak eruption is about 0.00014% annually. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, the magma chamber beneath Yellowstone's caldera, a deformation of the land caused by previous volcanic activity, is only 5 to 15% liquid meaning there may not be enough lava flow for a more explosive eruption to occur.